Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another music review. I'm Jandler of Jaily Music, and today we're taking a look at the Backflip 3000 and Nima collaboration, co conveniently named Backflip 3000 Nima. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to pronounce the X, but for this video, I won't. It's one of those projects that I happened to stumble upon in my feed, and I said, you know what, why not? And take a listen. Um, I'm actually not familiar with both of these artists' body of work, but I have heard a couple of nice things to be said about uh, Backflip 3000's previous EPs. And so I wanted to take a listen and see for myself. And I wasn't disappointed. I actually enjoyed the EP. It's more in the lane of indie rock, DIY, some garage rock. Um, but the thing I liked about it was that uh, it was very, very fun to listen to. And the contrast between uh, Nima and Backflip's delivery was very, 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 very good because Nima's register is higher and cleaner while uh, Backflip's was you know, more subdued, more heavy on effects, and more sinister. I think that's the word that he used. But what I disliked about the EP was that it was short. And I say this to most EPs, and I do feel that most EPs are short, but this for this one, it, it felt that the EP was getting into its groove towards the middle uh, and then losing steam or I felt short changed when it got to the end and I just felt that I wanted more. But if you were there for our No Appetizers uh, podcast, when we discussed this project, um, I think Backflip um, expressed that they do have more songs, more collaborations, so hopefully we will get to listen to them sometime in the future. I hope that is the case. My favorite track from this project, from this EP, are Bail Me Out. It's a very fun listen, um, very upbeat style, but I think the topics were a bit dark, so not fitting to the tone, but it is a very fun listen. And also, Burgers and Fries, because who doesn't like burgers and fries who is this for if you're a fan of both artists of course and if you are a fan of that diy lo-fi indie rock garage rock type of genres then i have a feeling that you will enjoy uh, listening to this project as usual i will leave links in the description for you to have a listen and thank you again for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one